Hello guys, welcome to another YouTube video. So in this YouTube video, I'll be talking about what you should do for growing pain. So guys, stay tuned. So guys, I'll be giving you guys three tips in order to put into place when you have a growing injury, or when you have a growing pain. So stay tuned. First tip. We'll be talking about never rest growing injuries when i say never rest growing injuries i want you guys to see it in this perspective of um, not only rest will get you better because in order to improve your growing pain you need to do exercises so let me give you guys an example as strainer a groin today i'll give it um, a one week for each order to rest for that acute phase for inflammation and then immediately after that I'm going to start strengthening muscles around the groin in order to support support the groin. So, for example, I can start with the core. You start with the core. You strengthen your core. You strengthen your glutes. Before now, you go into exercises with which they will now strengthen muscles around the groin, like the adductor muscles, like the hip muscles, things of that sort. Okay, but tip number two. Tip number two, we'll talk about building up your exercises. For example, if today you are starting with planks. And you do for the first week you do 30 seconds 30 seconds plank means for the next week you need to you need to build up your exercise in order for those muscles to get more stronger in order for them to have more strength in them okay after doing planks 30 seconds the next week you can try to do planks for 60 seconds then um, after two to three weeks you then you then you then improve learn you then progress into side planks so that is how that is how you need to do for for your injury to get better, especially groin injuries, because um, the need is more all, all about weaknesses around the supporting muscles of the groin, which make you then injure the real muscles of the groin. Okay, now for the third tip, the third tip will be all about returning to sport or returning to activities which you, you were doing before you got injured. So, for example, for me, I sprained my groin. I sprained my groin um, two years ago. It was really serious, but I, really, I, di I didn't really know how to address this. So, if I'm coming back now, like now, if I'm had, I had a groin injury and I'm coming back from, I'm in, in returning back to, 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 to sports, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the run walk program, in which I'll gradually return to sport because those muscles they are not yet used to such. Because you know, obviously, when they are being when they are being sprained. Obviously, their, 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 their ability to absorb forces or to, or to handle forces with you, so you need to, to gradually bring them back up to this state. So you guys, uh, for sporters, for athletes, you guys can start up with um, a run work program, which will run for one minute, walk for one minute, then I, you can improve them now, as I said, in tip two, you progress. You progress now you enter into a phase of um, change of directions light linear change of direction they go to multi dimension multi-directional change of direction they implement ball work so that guys that is how you're going to do so guys thank you guys for watching guys that will be all about today so if this video was really helpful to you please i'd like you guys to hit the like button subscribe for more videos so see you guys later bye bye Jump on, run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it.